How's it going guys? My name is Josh and welcome to another edition of Airsoft Megastore TV. Now recently we had one of our fans send us a question asking us if we personally had $350 to spend on a loadout, what would we build and why? And it kind of took me a little bit to figure this one out. I simply have way too much airsoft stuff nowadays, but I remembered a really awesome film I saw recently called Sicario, and I wanted to kind of build my theme off of that. By the way, if you haven't seen Sicario, you definitely need to go check it out. From the cinematography to the guns, the acting, the loadouts, the realism, all of it is simply stunning, and the kits that they use for the film look pretty damn badass. So I decided to base my theme off of that and go with the all black tactical pistol only centric loadout. So let's take a look at what I got for $350. Now, when it comes to building a pistol only kit, you have to take a lot of things into consideration, but first and foremost should be what pistol platform should you use. Now, for me, I happen to like Glock style firearms, but unfortunately, as everybody knows, Airsoft isn't exactly very Glock friendly. With that in mind, I wanted to find a gun that was gonna fit my hand very well, because in CQB situations, especially with pistols, you don't have a volume of fire to rely on, and you need to be very accurate and be able to get your shots on target very quickly. So, choosing a pistol for me was a pretty simple choice. With the new ASG CZP09 that's come out, this dang thing is awesome for the price and has a ton of features that I'm gonna need on the field. Now, first of all, the pistol is a polymer lower, so that's gonna drastically cut down on the overall weight of it. You do have a full metal slide on the top, you have textures everywhere, so getting a good grip on the gun shouldn't be too big of an issue. It also utilizes the CO2 system, which means I'm gonna have very consistent shots, and I won't have to worry too much about cold weather. Some of the other cool features are this gun is completely ambidextrous, so if you're a left-handed shooter, you will not need to worry too much about that. Additionally, it does have an under rail here, so I can throw in any lights and lasers like I have, and we have the standard 14 millimeter counterclockwise thread, so you can add on a really dope looking suppressor and make it uh, you know, very customized to what you wanna run the gun as. Now, as you can see, I have added on this NC Star flashlight and laser combo. This is good for a couple of reasons. First and foremost, I now have a flashlight to search and assess. I can also use it to blind people and be able to trace my bees as they float through the air so I can get on target very, very quickly and have an idea of where my rounds are landing. From there, it does have that laser on the underneath part of it, and this is really awesome because I can simply flick this on in a CQB situation and know exactly where my barrel is pointed, so if I don't have the opportunity to get my gun up, I can simply pull the trigger and know where my shots are gonna land. So that pretty much does it for the pistol, so let's move on to the tactical gear and I'll show you guys what I have to kind of supplement this pistol only loadout. So to start things off, you can see that I do have a Lancer Tactical soft body armor on the inside of this setup. Now this is just a really simple way to mount this Condor chest rig over the top of this and have it be very rigid and not move around on the battlefield. Not to mention the fact too that when you're playing CQB, you're going to be moving fast and trying to get up in people's faces as soon as possible. And with a pistol only loadout, I'm definitely going to be expecting to take some fire. So having a bit of extra protection is not a bad idea. On top of that, I have this Condor chest rig mounted to it that I've attached the pouches. So let's move on to the pouches and I'll tell you guys what I have set up and why. Now on the left hand side here, I do have a simple roll up dump pouch. This is very easy for me to just drop my mags in and do a quick reload as fast as I can so I'm constantly gonna be able to be on target. Moving a bit over from there, you will see a standard grenade pouch. This houses my Thunder Bee. Now the reason it's here is so that way I can hold the pistol with my right hand, still cover my lane of fire, and access it to be able to throw it over a wall, window, whatever the necessary means of it is. It's basically just here so I can get to it as quickly as possible and have a Thunder Bee if I need it. Now in the center of the rig, you'll see that I have a triple shingle for my pistol magazines. Uh, this is basically gonna allow me to carry roughly 75 rounds plus one in the gun, so 100 rounds total for CQB games. Uh, and if you're playing pistol matches, they usually go pretty quickly so you'll have time to reload, but this is more than enough ammunition to get me through a couple of games. All right guys, that's pretty much gonna do it for my pistol loadouts, but there are a couple of things that I will say you will wanna get if you wanna run something like this. If you're gonna be playing CQB, pick yourself up a set of gloves. These are my personal ones, uh, and gloves will definitely save you from getting shot in the knuckles, which if you ask anybody who has, it is damn painful. So pick those up, save yourself some pain in the future. Additionally, I would recommend getting a full face mask if you're gonna play CQB. Uh, getting shot at close range in the face is no bueno. So that's pretty much the only two additions I would make. Other than that, you have a very solid pistol loadout uh, to go play those awesome high-speed pistol games. You have everything you need and nothing you don't. So guys, I hope that's been helpful when picking out some cool stuff we have on the website within the $350 range. This is personally what I would probably pick up. 
uh, just to go play those really fun CQB games. But that's going to do it for me, guys. And if you have any questions, as always, leave those in the comment section below, and I'll try to get back to them as soon as possible. As always, play safe and call your hits. Thank you